Mumbai. The city of seven islands has gone through various periods including Portuguese, Hindu, Islamic and British. The existence of these periods is evident in the form of iconic landmarks such as Victoria Terminus, Gateway of India, Hotel Taj and many more. The city has undergone a rapid transformation with a number of modern high-rise buildings and luxury apartments springing up across the city. However, despite this modernization, the city's architectural heritage remains an important part of its identity and charm. The study tour of 2023 covered three major urban areas of Mumbai city, Varsova, Kolivada and Dobiga. Along with these, marvelous examples of housing with great architectural representation were visited, which were Sitko Housing, Artist Village and Khotachi Garden. Development in Mumbai has essentially been a negotiation with the edges of the seven islands. A significant development that connects the city to the suburbs is the Bandra Valley Sea Link. The primary objective of visiting the three major urban fabrics was to gain a comprehensive understanding of their redevelopment, current housing schemes, then needs through a thorough analysis of various factors such as economic activities, functions, psychology of the local populace, and architecture features of the area. The city has undergone significant redevelopment in recent years, particularly in areas that were previously slums or dilapidated neighborhoods. The redevelopment efforts are aimed at improving the living conditions of residents of these urban caves. Dobigat is a sprawling chaotic expanse of concrete washing pens, each fitted with its own flogging stones. Lines and lines of wash clothes are hung out to dry in a manner that optimizes both time and space. This is a labor-intensive process and the washerman, also called as dobies, have a system in place that takes care of washing, sorting and ironing clothes. A code is written at the back of each garment that allows the correct piece of laundry to get back to its owner. The laundry is a self-contained ecosystem with Dobies living in nearby chawls, apartments and complexes with their families. Dobighat is divided into two parts from its main street. On the one hand, it's Dobighat and Slaughterhouse and on the other hand side, there are high-rise buildings. While the residents have an allocated place to wash clothes and the people working there had created their own space to live around their workplace. The site is in a triangular shape and is covered by multiple makeshift and some semi-permanent houses. In total, there are 631 cubicles for the washerman and the buildings vary in height from mostly 2 to 3 stories. The area remains active from early morning until late evening. At the center of the site, there is a common space that functions as an interaction area for the whole bunch. However, a closer look to the ghat and the people living there washing thousands of clothes bring out an order in the chaos. Discussing the need for redevelopment, the aim is to provide a hygienic workspace and climatically sustainable housing option for the people working there. The pedestrian paths are surrounded by open drainage, waste food and waste from the slaughterhouse, making it imperative to consider redevelopment. Additionally, the local culture states that women are supposed to do household chores while the men work as washerman as it is a job passed down from father to son. Vali Kodiwara, a home that opens to the sea, is a fishing community situated on south of the Bay of Mumbai. The area houses 8,000 people, mostly of the Koli caste. Vali Kolivada is surrounded on three sides by the sea into which untreated sewage is deposited. The housing comprises low single story of single space dwellings. The area starts with a ramp going at higher altitude. On both the sides of the road, we can see the major level difference of 2.5 meters which goes in downwards. The passages are connected through a steps and slopes to main spine on Kolivada. The area is facilitated with number of mandal and community spaces. The vibrance of the street markets and vendors are mixed with the scenes of the boat cleaning and boat repairing, which seeks to use local materials and keeps the scale of housing close to the street. Doing so will also leave views between Worli and the ceiling bridge unobstructed. Such views will draw members of the middle income group to explore the Worli tip. While the Kohli's originally relied on fishing intake only, declines in annual catch and have pushed the people to consider additional means of income within the tight shared spaces. 
coolies have infilled small market stands crowding the narrow streets but giving further purpose to lower the levels of their home the redevelopment of kolivada is essential to address the various challenges faced by the residents of the area a well planned and executed redevelopment project can help provide better housing and infrastructure basic amenities services and ensure the environmental sustainability leading to a better quality of life for the residents of the kolivada visit to warsawa was a great experience examining the beauty of buildings and their skyline on its way it is well connected to other parts of mumbai through a network of roads buses and trains warsawa is a neighborhood located in the western suburbs of mumbai on the coast of arabian sea and is known for its beach warsawa beach which is one of the cleanest beach in mumbai a small fishing village that has transformed over time into a bustling urban area with residential and commercial developments it is home to diverse population of people from different backgrounds including fishermen bollywood actors and business professionals while walking through the streets of warsawa and interacting with the people we could sense their strong connection to their work and the culture of the place people use the sea coast at various times of the day for various activities as we walked down the street we noticed how the houses were arranged in varying floor heights and how the buildings interact and speak a similar language the gullies reflected the community's unique character women in warsawa are equally involved in various activities including cleaning the beach fishing selling and separating them the incorporation and support of political parties have played a significant role in keeping the people connected to the place when talking about the activities that take place and generate the economy and keep the area clean both men and women of the community are equally involved warsawa is a place where residents do not have to move out of the area for anything they need the main attraction of the site is warsawa beach which has undergone a significant transformation in recent years due to the efforts of local resident and civic authorities it is the main attraction of the site However, the place is in need of proper housing with appropriate interaction areas and workspaces which are currently lacking. Kota Chiwadi. Visiting Kota Chiwadi gave a very unique experience feature traditional Portuguese style houses and architecture which is a rare sight in the urban setting of Mumbai. The village date back to late 18th century. The houses here are typically two story structure with steeply pitched roof and colorful facade adorned with intricate woodwork and carving currently things are a bit redefined by the resident but the old practice of interaction remains the same the window and door are elaborately decorated often with stained glass and iron work one of the most striking features of kota jiwadi's architecture is the use of bright colors including shades of pink green yellow and blue which gives the village a vibrant and lively feel the houses are arranged in a tight neat layout with narrow lanes and alleys creating an intimate and cozy atmosphere the design of the house is also well suited to the local climate with high ceiling open balconies and large windows that allows for good ventilation and natural light many houses also have private gardens and courtyard which provides an oasis of greenery and a peaceful retreat from the bustling city outside overall the architecture of kota chiwadi is a beautiful blend of indian and portuguese style showcasing the rich culture heritage of the region the village has been recognized as a heritage precinct and now being preserved and restored to ensure that the unique architectural treasure is not lost to time artist village The Artist Village in Belapur, a suburb of Mumbai, is a visionary project that was designed in late 1980s by the renowned Indian architect Charles Puria. The aim of this project was to provide a haven for artists and their families to live, work, and exhibit their art in a community space. Over time, the cluster has evolved, and the function proposed are not the same as they were initially. Nevertheless, the place remains an exemplary model of how a housing scheme can be climatically responsive in a city like Mumbai. The outer appearance of the old house has undergone changes, but the provision of interaction pocket remains intact, reflecting the original design focus on community and social interaction. 
The village architecture is inspired by traditional Indian village settlement with narrow street, courtyard and shared spaces. The buildings are arranged in cluster around shared courtyards, fostering a sense of community and prompting social interaction. The use of traditional materials such as brick, wood and terracotta tiles, which are common in local vernacular architecture, lends the village a unique character. The buildings in the village are designed to be energy efficient and sustainable, incorporating features such as solar water heaters, rainwater harvesting and natural ventilation. By use of local material and construction technique, the project aims to reduce its carbon footprint. Overall, the artist village in Belapur is an excellent example of how architecture can foster a sense of community, support the art and promote sustainable development. The project has influenced the discourage around community-based architecture in India and inspired several similar projects in other parts of the country. Co housing. Raj Rival is a celebrated Indian architect renowned for his pioneering design and contribution to the field of architecture. One of his notable work is the Sitco Housing Project in Mumbai's Pilapur area. The Sitco Housing Project was conceptualized in the early 1980s with the objective of providing economical housing to low-income families in Mumbai. The project was initiated by the City and Industrial Development Corporation of Maharashtra, which is a government-owned corporation responsible for urban development industry. The project comprises a series of residential towers organized in a cluster, with each tower soaring to 14 stories high. The towers are linked with various recreational facilities. The design of the tower is distinctive, characterized by an undulating shape aimed at enjoying each apartment with an unobstructed view of the surrounding landscape. Materials used in the towers are noteworthy, with the exterior facade made of exposed concrete and red brick, evoking the essence of traditional Indian architecture. The project is still standing and has been used for more than three decades now. Over the years, the project has undergone some changes and renovation to keep up the changing needs of its residents. Some of the updates have included modernizing the infrastructure, renovating the interior of the apartment and upgrading the common area. In addition to provide affordable housing, the Chitko Housing Project has also become a hub of community activity, with various events and festivals have been organized in the cult in the central core and common area. Despite the challenges faced by the housing complex, such as maintenance issues and overcrowding, the Sitco Housing Project has been an important example of how innovative design and sustainable architecture can provide a solution to housing crisis in a city like Mumbai. Overall, the Sitco Housing Project by Raj Rival has had a lasting impact on the discourse around low-income housing in India and has been inspired several similar projects across the country. Dubai is considered as one of the leading cities in the world, most developed and sophisticated in UAE. Established in 18th century as a small fishing village, the city grew rapidly in the early 21st century. Dubai is an economically advanced city relying on both oil and gas exports, tourism and trade for its economic growth. The city's diverse population is its own attest people from more than 200 countries who stays and works here. The Emirates is a constitutional monarchy ruling under Al Maktoum family. As a metropolitan city, we might feel it is a modern and with the lack of history. But Dubai was originated from Bani Yas tribe and the fishing community to export and now is booming.